A South Carolina coroner blames caffeine for the death of a healthy teenager. 16-year-old David Kripe collapsed last month at his high school, and now the boy's parents want his death to be a warning to others in the CBS4 News Health Alert. Davis Kripe was a high school sophomore who found his rhythm while playing the drums. He was a great kid. He didn't get mixed up in the wrong things. He loved music. We worry about their safety, their health, especially once they start driving. But it wasn't a car crash that took his life. Instead, it was an energy drink. The 16-year-old collapsed during a class last month and died at the hospital. While his initial autopsy required more testing, Richland County Coroner Gary Watts said Davis consumed a large soft drink, a latte, and then an energy drink in less than a two-hour time span, bringing on what he called a cardiac event. These drinks, this amount of caffeine, how it's ingested, can have dire consequences, and that's what happened in this case. You know it when it happens. You start to feel dizzy. You can feel it in your chest. CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Agus says energy drinks send more than 20,000 people to emergency rooms annually. The problem what we're learning is that it's not just caffeine. It's the other stimulants that are in there. And a cup of coffee, you may have over 45 minutes or 60 minutes. These energy drinks you're having all at once. And so all the caffeine gives this big peak in the body, and that's when bad things happen. Sean Kripe says the tragic way his son lost his life could be someone else's lifesaver. Parents, please talk to your kids about the dangers of these energy drinks. The coroner said Davis's autopsy showed no signs of an undiagnosed heart condition. The American Beverage Association, which represents the makers of almost all energy drinks sold in America, did not return a, a request for comment. The trade group says the energy drinks can be safely consumed in moderation.